was hallucinating. I was so scared. I was, my mind was just jumping. My name is Marie Steves. I was homeless for three years. It could have been really horrific and it could have been very debilitating. But Tulsa is really special. It's one of the few cities I've lived in where people really reach out and help one another. We are really dedicated to helping people leave homelessness and not come back. So you need a replacement. Over here, we've got these research sacks full of food. Stand right here. You know I'll run and get them. Here you go, Crystal. Big deep breath. Right now, I'm actually going to get applications um, to assist a client with getting birth certificates for her children. If someone is homeless in our community, they can come here and really just begin the journey of coming out of homelessness. They meet with our case managers, they can go to our clinic and get health care, go into the clothing room and get clean clothes. We're their starting point. I love my job. I love my job. I love helping people. Morning, morning. Getting families into housing is a, is a real big issue with me. I help them get their identifications, whatever the barrier is to stop them from getting in. That's what we work on. I love this one. She helped me out. She blessed me. To get my key today. I get my key today to Miss Keisha and the Lord. They help me. Get back up on my feet. You are done. <laughs> <laughs> Just, you're you're welcome, you're welcome. That makes my day. That's what makes it all worthwhile. Right there. <laughs> I have the, probably the most compassionate group of nurses I think I've ever encountered. You okay? My name is Leslie Petty. I'm the nurse practitioner at the Tulsa Day Center for the Homeless. We determine what kind of problems they have. Do they need further medical evaluation? Primarily, our goal is to get them established with a primary health care. Do you have a case manager yet? If you're not healthy, then everything else will not fall into place for them. So we help them sustain health and maintain health and get them back on their feet. Okay, will you help me make the earrings? I'm with the Works of Heart program, and we do an art class here at the Day Center for the Homeless each Monday morning for a couple of hours, and we've been doing this for the last six or seven years. We thought it might be something that they could do to get lost in their art, something they can do for a couple of hours each Monday, to escape what other, you know, other things that they are dealing with. It helps me let go of negative emotions. It's more like a coping thing that I like to do, crafts. The families that are stay, that would stay the night at uh, Salvation Army come over here during the day. Our, our case managers interact with those families uh, to help them as well. So it's, you know, it really is, we, this is where folks come if they, if they want to, to really get some help and, and exit homelessness. We started in a very small building, uh, just providing showers, clothes, snacks, shelter. That was really all we did. One of my first encounters with him as a volunteer here was uh, he came into the old day center um, with his wife, Miss Ann, and she looked and there was a baby sleeping under a table and she just she couldn't stand it that evening when they went back home she said you have got to do something about that building you've got to help them get a nicer place and it was at that urging from Miss Ann that we are in this building today let us pray we gratefully and joyfully gather to dedicate this building to the purpose for which it was built. Regard with favor those who will enter its doors seeking shelter. May they find it a haven from the storms of nature and of life. It is my distinct privilege to recognize two very special people, a family for their generosity, their compassion, and their perseverance. This building is dedicated in name to Anne and Henry Zarrow. Without you, we would not have this building. And I'm kind of nervous, so I'll say thank you very kindly, Molly, for your kind words. Thank you very much.
He was one of those men. He wanted to just go, are you for real? I knew Mr. Henry very well and uh, just an unbe unbelievably good human being. He had a way of uh, making you feel so special. Everybody counted with him. He was um, the reason why the school became so great. Gracias. He made such an impact on me uh, when I first met him. He wanted just to give me everything that I needed. I, I couldn't ask for enough things. He pushed me and pushed me until I finally said, well, I don't have a class set of the same book. And the very next day, he had three sets of books for my class. Uh, two were in English and one was in Spanish. He was a great man. <laughs> Sorry. Deep in his heart, he always had a spot for these folks and the, the pain that they endure and the, the uncertainty in their lives. He, he always cared deeply for the people that we take care of. There's your copy of your tenant and landlord rights. Hey, Lisa, what's up? We serve about 400 people a day at the day center. And then in the evening, we'll sleep Oh, 100 to 125 people at night. We're in our second year of operation with Hudson Villas and we're just seeing lives changing, people getting healthier, people are getting jobs, they're participating in classes that we have. Got my name right there. Now I got my own mailbox that's got my name on it, me. We also partner with lots of other agencies. We're working especially close with the Veterans Administration and their efforts to rehouse uh, homeless veterans quickly. We take care of anyone who comes through our doors. And there are some folks who, this is all we can provide for them, is the shelter. But our goal, and we're gonna keep working with those folks, is to, to do everything we can to help you not be in a homeless shelter. I have a wonderful job. I have a wonderful husband. We've been married. It'll be six years, October 3rd. I think that Tulsa is very blessed to have the, uh, the day center. I can't say anything good enough. I mean, I, don't, I get really emotional, I'm sorry. They gave me back my self-esteem. They showed me that, you know, you're valuable. Everyone has value and worth. Good morning, how you doing? They help people, just anybody. They'll help you get a job, they'll help you get housing. I have never seen such com camaraderie with the, with the staff, trying to get to know so many people that stay there. I mean, I can't even imagine the numbers of how many stay per night. We could learn a lot from a lot of the people that are at the day center. <sighs> their persistence, their determination, they're a family.